What is Jump King's favorite type of snake? A hopper head. Welcome to the stream, my friends. Happy Monday, and thank you very much for being here tonight. I hope you've had a fantastic weekend, and uh, welcome back to Jump King. All night, Jump King. A huge marathon of Jump King. I am, I am uh, reinvigorated. I am renewed. I am refreshed. We saw something new in Jump King last week. Probably I'll spend six hours and not make it back there. <laughs> It'll probably be a horrible night. Uh, since I've already committed. Since I've already committed so much time. But, uh... Let's try and be optimistic. Welcome in, my friends. Did Zergling is first in chat tonight, followed by Lucent Jelly and Kusari Gama. Welcome in, welcome in, and welcome in. Jumpaconda. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that that one has quite the ring to it. Oh. So I, I gotta clean my glasses. I just got out of the shower. And uh, there's still apparently steam coming off of me. My glasses keep fogging up. Uh, I've already got my coffee tonight. I've got some snacks. I've got apple and uh, cheese. I have turned off both the wheel and the stretch brake tonight. But I'll probably bring them back tomorrow. <laughs> Probably not, but the actual punchline didn't do it for me either, Zergling says. Fair enough. A womp womp, Jelly says. My my jokes are designed my jokes are designed to satisfy exactly one person. Anyone else I catch is uh, just a bonus. Uh. So, the last time we played this, we not only hit a new PB, we we exceeded our previous PB by like three screens, I think, and it brought us into an entirely new environment with an entirely new gimmick. Um, a gimmick of quicksand. The environment itself looks like it looks like doom. It's, uh, it's all fiery and foreboding. And uh, it's got these weird platforms. They're really thick platforms, and they're made of quicksand. And if you, if you fall all the way through them, then you fall forever. Hey, Doe. Welcome in. Happy Monday, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to uh, Jump King. And Derek Ocean, welcome in. Thank you for being here tonight, Derek. Thanks for sharing your pictures from the expo, Derek, in the uh, in the Discord. Appreciate you posting those. Those, uh, you know, big crowds. I always say, like, big crowds and stuff like that aren't really my scene, but it looks like you got to see some pretty cool stuff. I'm 
starting off kind of weak tonight, but uh, we'll see. Could always turn around. A lot of cool people, very friendly. My crowd of people, uh, Derek says. Beetlejuice cosplayer is funny. He stayed in character the whole time. Telling bad jokes like you. Oh. <laughs> uh. Now that's my kind of people. <laughs> uh. We passed by him again, me and my buddy Joe. We heard him yell out, can't wait for Spaceballs 3. <laughs> Baseballs 2, the quest for more money. I went to another one uh, in October on my birthday on the 12th. Hey, right on. Hopefully there'll be a lot of fun, spooky kind of uh, things going on. A part of me would like to say... Part of me would like to say maybe we should start uh, maybe we should start Halloween a little bit early on the stream because I uh, I imagine that the uh, the streams are going to be pretty thin in actual October so like maybe I should start maybe I should start playing some spooky games in September. Um, part of me wants to say that, but the other part of me is like I started playing Adam's Family games. <laughs> And look at what a nightmare they have become. I don't want to play a spooky game ever again. Uh. Adam's family values has become so terrible. The last time we played that, I can't remember. I can't remember the last time I was so angry. Not just at a game, but in my whole life in general. Adam's Family Values has got me so bent out of shape. I think I think I might be permanently damaged. <laughs> that bad. Oh, it's so bad. 
Oh, it made me so mad. Hey, Chozo, welcome in. Welcome to Jump King. Let's, uh, let's hope for miracles tonight. We had a miracle last time we played. I'm greedy for more. We're putting in the time. Full stream of Jump King. I only put Jump King on the schedule for tonight, but there is a very good chance we'll also play it tomorrow and Thursday. Um, so just because you didn't see it on the schedule doesn't mean that tonight is uh, the only night. Um, we may, we may, we will probably do a two hour session on Tuesday and Thursday. And yeah, I don't know about Animal Family Values and Wizard of Oz this week. We'll play at least one of them. We'll play at least one of them. They've both become so horrific, it's hard to go back to them. But I do want to finish both. Um, it's just, uh, you know, I don't want them to eat away. I don't want them to eat away time from Punch Out or Dark Souls. So they're, we're going to finish both of them, but they're going to be de-emphasized for a little while, I think. Hey, Shadow, welcome in. <laughs> sorry to let you down, Shadow. I'm sorry to let you down. Let's, uh, shout outs to Shadow Archon, a truly great streamer. Cannot recommend Shadow enough, my friends. A fantastic gamer who, uh, who loves broken, trashy, jank games just as much as any of us. And, uh, has the, and has the deep well of talent to, uh, actually conquer them. <laughs> It's okay, I like all the games you're playing. Hey, thank you, Shadow. And yeah, I'm not, like I said, I'm not giving up on them. I'm just, I'm just de-emphasizing them a little bit. I want them both to be over and done with and gone forever. <laughs> uh, and properly, properly uh, conquered. Decided to make a second character for Dark Souls 2, a sorcerer. Plays way different than I usually do. I hate it a lot. So much hate. <laughs> oh. There is part of me, like there there is a part of me that regrets that I'm that I'm going to play Dark Souls 2 exactly the same way that I played Dark Souls 1. There is a part of me that regrets that, but. I don't know. I've got to be true to who I am, right? And who I am is a guy who carries an axe and a shield. That's just who I am. <sighs> I have no idea how people play Dark Souls using the lock-on. I literally can't handle it. Could do a Viking cosplay in Dark Souls too. <laughs> well, I, I could have, I could have Chozo, but I didn't. Uh, I didn't modify my character at all. I left him completely generic, and I do, uh, I do also regret not giving my character a beard. I only lock on when one v one. Chozo says. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I use the lock on all the time. No lock-on would be a no lock-on would be a horrifying challenge run for me. 
Arm, welcome in. Thank you for joining us tonight. Hope your weekend went really well. Uh, Shadow says, that's why I usually push so hard on them. I just want them to be over. <laughs> uh... I've made pushes. I made pushes like that on games uh, in the past, um, or I wanted to, or I wanted to burn through them pretty quickly. Um, usually, it's not because of the terribleness of a game necessarily. Um, I don't know. We made a we made a huge push with um, that Pokemon game, um, Ar Arceus, Arceus. I never figured out. I still don't know how it's pronounced. Um, we played that for a little while, and then I was like, I wanted to finish it, but I wanted to be done with it <laughs> quickly. So we made a huge push in that one to get it over with real fast. These, like, massive streams. Back to back. Derek says, I have the next two days off, which is nice. Right on. Hope you got something uh, good lined up. Some uh, fun way to spin them. I wish that, uh, I wish Dark Souls 2 had had, like, a character randomizer where, uh, you know, we could have just hit a button and got just a whole bunch of, like, bogus appearance features all scrambled together automatically. <laughs> I would have liked to have used that, but oh well. Ooh, I thought I missed that one. Ooh, and I jumped the, kind of jumped the wrong way there. You can actually jump either way, it's just that I'm used to doing it one particular way. And I did it the opposite on autopilot. Oh, terrible jump. That was real bad of me. Me seeing Borderlands with my buddy Joe and then Alien Romulus by myself. Two movies, one night. Sounds like a big day. Hope they uh, turn out all right. No. Oh, I did the same jump twice in a row. Uh, almost the same. Uh, I fell the second time, but heard Borderlands is awful and Alien is pretty good, but I'm excited for both either way. Immaculate. That was a crazy horror movie. I have not even heard of that one. Come on, Frowny. You can make this jump.
All right, we get to see the waterfalls at least. I feel like I almost missed that jump. Just hanging on by just a pixel there. Overshoot that is awful. Not that it's impossible to do. I'm surprised I don't do it more frequently, but the punishment is so severe. I disagree. so bad about Adam's family on the SNES? Everything, Derek. Uh, I don't even know that I could... I don't even know. doing I know that's wrong Yeah, that, I'm talking about the one I'm currently playing, Derek. Adam's Family Values. Although, uh, the one where you play as Gomez wasn't really that good either. <laughs> it was That one wasn't horrible, but it's not great. Adam's family values do not align with Frowny's values. <laughs> oh. No, I was doing so well. Game's gonna turn you into the AVGN. <laughs> uh. There are some games, there are some games that make me, uh, some games that make me uh, regret the decision to uh, to attempt to restrict my commentary to uh, family friendly vocabulary <laughs> uh. Oh, 
<laughs> Don't give in, Frowny. Don't utter the gamer words. Uh. I don't have any, uh... I don't have any real desire to, uh, to change. Welcome back to Doom. If I can change, you can change. We all can change. <laughs> Frowny being stuck in his ways, refusing to change. I might die of not shock. I like the music here. Tough. This place is tough. Uh... Oh no! When you uh, face plant, that's it. It's over. You'll never get up until you hit a flat surface in the uh, in the world below. That's pretty good though. That's a new PB. I've never uh, I've never made it that high up before. <laughs> this is horrible. Shadow says <laughs> it's actually. I mean, I don't know. It's just because it's new, I think. It actually doesn't feel that bad. Um, I may I may feel very differently after a while, but uh, it doesn't really feel that bad. That's right, Jump King all night. No. All right, I thought I was going to fall much further than that. If I can keep making it back up there, even if I don't, uh, even if I don't make it all the way to the next area, if I can keep seeing that area, it won't even feel bad.
<laughs> Why do I feel like we've already peaked for tonight, Circling Sis? Oh, that's not that's not retro optimism at all. Sadness. Decided to name my sorcerer Randolph, as in Randolph the Red. I like that. Derek says I'm more excited about the Acolyte being cancelled. feelings either way. Time for me to talk about the Ewok movies, Zirkling says. <laughs> I was thinking about those.
Can't understand why people cheer for something failing in the end and it hurts us all, Kasarikama says.
I am thinking about that, um, but the thing is, I don't know that my opinions are super well formed. Um, the thing is, for me, all the stuff that I love is like really small and self-contained, right? Like my favorite movie franchise ever has one installment, <laughs> and we'll never, uh, we'll never get a sequel or spinoff to a, uh, you know, Super Mario Bros. '93. So. I don't know. Like most of the stuff, like most of the stuff I really love though, seriously, is like, um, it's all small and self-contained and, uh, like even when more of it does come out, I just generally don't care. <laughs> like Ghostbusters. I love Ghostbusters 1 and 2, but I haven't seen a single Ghostbusters movie since. I'm just not interested. I don't know. The last, like, three they did? I don't know. It's not... It doesn't... It doesn't pique my interest. I'm watching Columbo. I love Columbo. If they announced a Columbo reboot tomorrow, I probably wouldn't watch it. <laughs> with AI, without AIs developing, there could be endless Mario Bros. 93 sequels. I could even generate one myself. Customized to all my personal preferences. I can see the frowny sequel now. 60 minutes of it would happen in an elevator for some reason. <laughs> uh, everyone's opinion is valid uh, to me, and it's fine, because Zorigama says, yeah, I just, I just, it's not something I've really meditated on, though, and I'd want to... Uh, So uh, just my thoughts aren't, you know, my thoughts aren't well formed. <laughs> Who does meditate on their <laughs> opinion on Star Wars movies? Uh, I was just thinking of a sort of the larger uh, thing about... People wanting to see things fail.
Hey, EpiPen, welcome in. Even games I don't like, I wish success on. It could be just the optimist in me. What's new in Frown Town? Um, I reached. A, I actually reached a new PB uh, already tonight. I've seen new stuff, so I'm doing well. Progress in this game is always ephemeral. But that's all right. I'm in for the I'm in it for the long haul. I've done so many projects to these cats. Well, we're doing we're doing all Jumper King tonight, so if you got something to work on, then I've got plenty of I've got plenty of digital cat ambiance for you.
past the fake ending. Oh no, what am I doing? I don't think I've ever blundered on that screen before. I don't think I've ever messed up a jump on that screen before now. How horrible. Time is infinite, though, so there's plenty of opportunity for me to make uh, basically every blunder possible. <laughs> That's how you beat the game. You make every possible blunder until you've exhausted them all, and all that's left is to accidentally win. Let's be more careful here this time. That's more like it. That's more like it. Excuse me just a moment, my friends. I know it's a bit early, but I'm going to take a little BRB for just a moment. I, uh, I did a lot of, uh, I did a lot of exercise today, which means I had a lot of bottles of water today. So I may need, uh, slightly more frequent breaks than usual. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to step away a couple minutes. I'll be back with you quickly. Thank you. 
and welcome back. Thank you for standing by, everybody. What? How did I miss that? I disagree. I came back to something horrible. Welcome back. Thank you, Shadow. I've got three... I've got three major pillars to my... my sort of fitness routine now. I've got a... Uh, got a stretching routine. I've got the stationary bike. And I've got a, uh, a dumbbell routine. And my dumbbells divided into uh, two separate routines. It's sort of a push pull thing. One day I do one day I do push exercises, one day I do pull exercises. And I'm trying to do two of the three things every day. <laughs> so like I did I did dumbbell push exercises today and stationary bike so like tomorrow I'll do the pool exercises and the stretching routine and I mean I don't know I don't know what the full cycle is yet but <laughs> that's uh those are the things I'm working with Oh, that's really good, Frowny. How are you liking it? Oh, it's going all right. It's going all right. For the um, my stretching routine, it's uh, it's basically yoga. Just uh, I don't re I don't tend to really call it that because yoga has a whole bunch of like metaphysical stuff. That's a big part of it, and I'm not really part of that. But just the uh, the pose sequences, you know, I grab out of a yoga book. That's like, it's like a 40 minute routine the way I've been doing it. <laughs> um, which is, and it's largely targeted toward the back. And the stationary bike, I try and do, I try and do eight miles within 30 minutes. And then... I go 10 more minutes and try to get two more miles. So I'm done. I'm done whenever I hit the 10 mile mark or the 40 minute mark, whichever comes second. So I'm always. I'm always aiming like toward the direction that's more work. And the dumbbells are. I'm, I'm working really. The working really light. Just 10 pound dun dumbbells. <laughs> Because I want to, uh, I want to make sure that I'm doing the move, all the movements, like real slowly, and uh, and doing them all well. And if I start with just heavy dumbbells and stuff, my my like my form is gonna be terrible. So. I'm gonna very, I'm very slow, I'm gonna very slowly build up so that I can, so I have really good form all the way through. <laughs> can you cast Yoga Fire yet? That's not even the part I'm looking forward to, Zergling. I'm just looking forward to having those really stretchy arms.
Hey, losses. Welcome in. Nothing wrong with starting with 10 pounds. You must walk before you can run. Precisely. Yeah, precisely. And like, you know, like I've been doing the stretching since the beginning of June, I think. And then I did that for like three weeks. I was just doing the stretching routine. And then I added in the stationary bike. And I just added in the dumbbells at the end of last week. So that that's really new. Um, but the other two I've been doing now for a couple months and have stuck with it pretty well. I don't, uh, I haven't necessarily done something every day, but I don't think I've had more than two days off in a row. And, you know, like I've hit, I've hit four or five days out of every week at least. Um, and usually, and usually more. So I've done pretty all right. <laughs> what Dark Souls 2 does to a man. <laughs> uh, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no training, there's no training routine that could prepare me for Dark Souls 2. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with it so far. So far, I, uh, uh, so far it just feels like more Dark Souls 1 to me. There's really, like, I haven't seen anything that, I don't know yet, I, I, I don't know why people don't like it yet, is all I can really say. I haven't seen anything that would, where I'd be like, oh, this is why people hate this game. Um, like, so far, it's just, it's very similar to Dark Souls 1. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm having, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I think it's a great game. People hate on it a lot. I mean, I may not be all that far along. I think I've defeated four bosses. And they all seem to be... They all seem to be pretty, like, pretty basic, pretty, pretty, like, entry-level bosses, so, I mean, I don't know that I'm anywhere near the real meat of the game. I, uh, I have discovered two other bosses, though, that I have not been able to beat, and they are really, uh, they are really problematic. <laughs> So, I might be, I might be spinning my wheels. I might be spinning my wheels in Dark Souls 2 for a while. Because I've kind of, I think I've run out of places to explore. I think, essentially there are two pathways for exploration open to me. And both of them have now, I've hit a wall of a boss at the either end of both of them. So, you know. Might be a little rough. Might be a little rough for a while. But that's alright. That's pretty much what I was expecting. <laughs> you know, there definitely there were definitely times of Dark Souls 1 where I'd get up to... The only way I could see forward was through a boss, and... The boss took me, like, you know... Three or four nights to defeat. So... It'll be okay. But yeah, I'm having I'm having fun with it so far. It seems it seems fine to me. I don't hate it as think it's the worst of the series, Kasari Gama says. 
I agreed, but it's still very good, Lossus says. I'm doing as bad right now at the beginning of this hour as I did at the beginning of the last hour. It's like I, uh, it's like I completely reset. I'm just not very good. I'm just not very good at this uh, House of Nine Lives. I think I'm actually, I think I'm actually worse at this environment than I am at the environments above. Interestingly enough. Hey, Mazin. Good to see you. Welcome in. Those lamps remind me of caco demons and pain elementals. All I see in my head is demons now. <laughs> uh, I mean, you've been you've been swirling around in a vortex of doom for a. Uh, for uh, countless hours now. How many hours? How many hours have you put into Doom in the past two weeks? How many hours have you been streaming just Doom? Like, it's gotta be like, what, 60? <laughs> That's a long time. It's like a secret ice level. Everything is so slippery, yeah. The, uh, it's cause of these, it's cause of the corners. 
there's no corners on these uh, platforms, and you have to do these like weird jumps where you jump into it and let your momentum carry you around the rounded corners, and it's really easy to, you know, slip off of them. So yeah, yeah. I say you have to, I mean, I have to with my approach. There may be, there may be smarter ways to jump through this area that I'm just not capable of discovering. Yeah, that's always a pos that's always a possibility. I can't ignore that I could be doing everything the worst way possible. <laughs> uh, always open to that. I can't tell you how glad I am that Doom 2 is off my table now. Oh, you finished it. GG. GG, Mazin. It was ridiculous toward the end. I hope that, uh, I hope that Doom 3, uh, treats you well. Mazin, uh, streams over at, uh, on, on YouTube. If you're unfamiliar with Mazin, Mazin was my coach when I used to speedrun Castlevania the Adventure. He's the, uh, He's the best in the world at, uh, at that game. And, uh, I was lucky enough that he tricked me into speedrunning it. <laughs> but he, uh, he streams a lot of different stuff over on, uh, he has a YouTube channel. Otherwise we'd give him a, we'd give him a shout out, but I think that only works for the Twitch links. Currently, he's doing all the uh, the Doom, the original Doom trilogy. He's doing first playthroughs of uh, of all three of those, and he just finished number two. Good times. Uh. So much of this game is just his mental fortitude. The jumps just start messing with your confidence, Shadow says. Oh yeah, yeah, I've definitely, I've definitely experienced a lot of that. <laughs> there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of ebbs and flows to the confidence meter. been a bit under 30 hours per doom game now so 60 total hey my estimate was pretty my estimate was pretty spot on then so doom 64 uh, my thoughts on it I, I i didn't finish it um which is not to speak to the quality of the game i made it about 20 levels in i think i made it about a third of the way through the game i don't really know i'm just I'm estimating based on nothing. I made it about 20-ish levels in. Um, I do want to finish it. It's just one of those things where I took a little break from it and then just forgot about it. Um, I was not doing a 100% run. And I, uh, I regret, I regret that. Oh, Mazin, don't share stuff like that with me. You know I like to stay blind. Now I can't play Doom 64 again until I forget that. I was not doing 100%. I... I didn't understand Doom well enough to go for a hundred percent, I don't think. I still don't really understand it. <laughs> you claim you like to stay blind, and yet you wear glasses. Yeah, no, no worries. No worries, it's not the end of the world. Uh...
from what I saw of Doom 1 and 2, from what I, from what I saw of Doom 1 and 2 uh, lurking in your stream, Doom 64 seems very similar. Except it doesn't really have music. It does, but it doesn't have the same kind of music, I guess I should say. Um, at some places, it doesn't have music. It's got more, like, it's spookier. It's got more, like, horror ambiance. I wasn't very good. Like, I, I'm not very good at it. I just kind of... I just kind of flounder my way through each of the levels in Doom 64. Always assume questions are rhetorical. Yeah, that's a pretty safe... Uh, it's a pretty safe bet. <laughs> you regret... You regret not doing 100%. Someone's missing the dosage of suffering. Yeah, I kind of... If I started... If I started Doom 64 today... I would try to do it a hundred percent. But I didn't really... And actually, I don't know... I don't remember if there's a way to check how many... I don't know if there's a way to check how you're doing mid-level in Doom 64. There probably is. I don't know if I... I don't know if I discovered that. Um before I cleared the first level in the game. Like, I don't know if you can check, like, how many total secrets there are, or how close you are to total enemies. You probably can, but I, prob but I probably didn't discover it. I don't know, it's been a couple years. Yeah, I can't rate its difficulty compared to the other ones. Um, since I haven't played them. There's a little bit of uh there's a little bit of platforming in Doom 64. And, uh, the platforming I found to be really irritating. I do remember that about it. There's not a lot, but there's a, there's a little bit, and it's always, and it's always really bad. In my opinion. I'm no good at, like, I don't like first-person platforming. So, your mileage may vary, I guess, but... I know that open left side losses. I've fallen down there so many times. I've made so many trips back down, back down that left-handed side. I've lost count. I lost count a long time ago. It's well into the double digits. I liked it in general. I thought it was... Uh, I, I was having fun with it. Um, I was just really bad at it. So, I didn't make progress a lot. It took me a lot of tries. It took me a lot of tries for each level. But I was but I was making progress. I would, I would beat a couple levels every time I played it. But yeah, I kind of forgot about it for a while. And I wasn't playing it that frequently. We don't, um... I lost my train of thought.
And the PPN says, I hate this new app. Literally change channels without being touched. That's gross. I never played any Doom in my life, exactly because I'm super bad at it. Uh, it seems even a casual like me can do it. I, uh, I would like to try, I would like to try to do, uh, I would like to try to do more of the Doom games some, someday. Um... Watching you work on, uh, you know, hanging out while you were working on Doom 1 made me very interested to, uh, to consider trying to do, uh, trying to do, uh, a hundred percent playthrough of Doom myself someday. I'm not I've not heard a single good thing about the new app. I haven't experienced it yet myself. I haven't updated my uh haven't updated my app. And I don't plan to until I'm forced. You would think if everyone's trashing your app, you would do something about it. Uh, hopefully, hopefully by the time I get forced to update, it'll be uh, it'll be uh, sorted out. Fingers crossed. recommend one over two. Gotta go, Frowny. Have a good one, my friend. Hey, thank you for uh, spending some time with us tonight, Doe. Always a pleasure to see you. I hope you have a, a fantastic rest of your day. the more solid and cleaner game. Two is a bit intense for my taste.
How is that an overshoot? Uh, why? The story was great, though, in both dooms. I'll reflect about it a long while in the coming months. Very special experience. blown away that doom even had a story i never thought it would be anything uh but trigger pulling to it yeah that's uh i mean that's kind of my thought i'm uh i'm surprised to hear you come out of the experience <laughs> praising the uh praising the story Jump King has my favorite video game story. The entire story for Jump King is there is a smoking hot babe at the top. It's the perfect, it's the perfect video game story. Tells me everything I need to know. <laughs> Which direction does Jump King need to travel, and what is his excuse for going there? Jump King has a story. Yeah, that's the story. It's um I mean I don't know if it's a story. I don't know if it's a if it's the story or if it's the tagline or if it's the subtitle. But uh there is a smoking hot babe at the top. That's all there is. And I love it. It's perfect. I don't need another word. Yeah, there's not much so far as the told story, but uh, the gameplay and environments uh, have unexpected depth. If you get what I mean.
I thought there was a Titanite chunk at the top. I've been misled. Hey, Buddha fingers, welcome in. Uh, I actually assumed, I actually ex assumed for my for my entire first playthrough that that the story was a lie. I had said there was a smoking hot babe at the top. I thought there was going to be some... I thought we were going to be trolled in some way when we got to the top. I did not... I did not for a second believe there was really a, a babe waiting for us up at the top. I don't really know what there was going to be, but I just... I, I was 100% expecting a, a joke at my expense. So when, uh... When we got to the top of it, it was and it was just straightforward, literally true. I was I was completely stunned. I would have bet I would have bet every dollar I've ever seen that I was gonna get that I was gonna get pranked at the top of the at the top of the game. Oh yeah, yeah, I did. I, well, there's um, it's like it's it. There are multiple quests through Jump King Mazen. Um, it's uh, there are different. There are three different maps to complete. So I, I've completed the first two maps, and this is the last one. You know, kind of like Doom has three episodes, J Jump King kind of has three episodes. That's not a great comparison because they're each kind of complete on their own, but... You get it. I think it's like a, um, is that a dog in the background? I think it's like a troll or like a, like a giant. I, uh, I commented on him, uh, the other night as well. I, uh, I, I passed through here a couple times, and then I uh, didn't see him the first few times. I did ah. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, I didn't actually notice him the first couple times, but yeah. There's a. There's definitely a big guy in the background. Oh, that's awful. What a nightmare. <laughs> Imagine playing a game you beat for a second time. I would never do any extra loops, let alone a hundred loops. No, who would do who would do that? These aren't really loops though, because they're they're completely separate maps. Um, the three quests. Well, <clears throat> they're not really completely separate maps. The first two the first two start in the same the first two start in the same place and they branch apart. The third one is basically completely separate, though. Uh... Oh, where were the best viewers? I must know. They're already here, losses. I don't need to go looking for them. They've already found me.
Oh, no. Ah, I messed that up. I was still spooked from the other, from the other jump. My heart was racing from having almost, almost missed that, that one right before. Wednesday I'll be playing the brand new Doom expansion that came out a week ago. Hope it'll fit into the timeline before Doom 64. I didn't uh, I didn't know about this one. Legacy of Rust. No, I didn't hear about that. missed both of those jumps and had I missed either I'd be back down there at the crumbling tower again so I got really lucky oh no I disagree Such a hard jump. That's one of the hardest jumps in the game for me. Is that one that one right there, that first jump on the next screen. I just can't seem to get consistent at it. I've hit it a lot of times, but I miss it way more. It's a new, it's a brand new official extra episode in the original Doom engine. Came with a bundle. <laughs> You're doomed, Mazin. <laughs> It's just mind-blowing that there's new official content after 30 years. 
30 plus years. There have been new Doom maps here and there along the way. Ah! I don't want to overshoot. Speaking of doom, This, uh, this place up here feels like doom to me. already kicked out. kicked out. Now I'm going to fall into the house of nine lives. I'm going to say I'm really, really kicked out. Hmm. 
It just happens to be the same exact remaster studio. I praise to the heavens for their splendid work on Shadow Man 64. I'm really, really kicked out. <laughs> Told you it was gonna happen. <laughs> Night Dive Studio. you willed that one into existence I think the reverse I was trying to do the reverse I was betting on my propensity to always be wrong well if I predict something negative happening then maybe I'll uh, you know my always wrongness will kick in and a positive thing will happen instead. It's a bit of cosmic reverse psychology. Oh yeah, I'm not. Well, I'm not exactly sure, um, Mazum, which ones I have. I, uh, I think I, I think I bought. I have. I think I have at least some of the Doom games on the Switch. I picked them up when they were on sale, really cheap. But I don't. I don't. I couldn't say for sure which ones I have. Because I haven't actually played them. They just sit in my library. <laughs> We have one and two separately. You can download the bundle for free with the new content. Oh, that's nice to know. Yeah, um, yeah, because I probably I probably have them separately. One year we might get a doom doom timber. Buddha fingers says. Maybe maybe around Christmas time we could have Doom Doom Simber.
That doesn't sound like the worst idea. I ordered a, uh, I did order a copy of, um, Doom, um, Doom 3 on the, uh, Xbox, which I believe includes the first two games. I figured it'd be nice to have them, uh, physically in some format. format where I can play them in glorious standard definition 4x3 uh, frame <laughs> I like the idea Masson says to the, uh, the month long doom marathon I think that one. I think that one, Mazin. True Doom 3 is 64. I think I, I, I believe, feel like I believe I've heard that from uh, from other people. I, uh, you know, I don't really, I don't have an opinion not being super expert in, uh, in Doom. Hence why I'm playing 64 next and not 3. Well, you know, if I'd if I'd seen if I'd seen a physical release uh, that was Doom 64 bundled with Doom 1 and 2. I would have ordered that one instead, Mazin. But I had to, I had to get what was out there. <laughs> My hands were tied. See, we just hit the two-hour mark. On any other night, it would be time to switch and play a different game. But tonight is not any other night. Tonight is all Jump King. Four more hours. We're only a third of the way there, my friends. It would be the perfect time to stop, though. 
Because again, like it's the two hour mark. I'm down here at the bottom. Like this is exactly how I would stop on any other night. Uh, the Doom Slayer collection with everything in it but Eternal. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, Shadow says. <laughs> Appreciate the enthusiasm. Thank you. There may be something else out there, Mazin, but I was just wanting to pick something up where I could play it on a retro console. Or, you know, pretty close to a retro console. Uh, Mile Hyrule, welcome in. <laughs> Are you getting good at this? I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that, Mile Hyrule. I have reached a new area. I reached a new area. I've already hit a... I hit a new PB earlier tonight. I haven't been able to tie it, but I, uh... But I've gotten close. I did, yeah. So... I've actually, I actually ordered a couple different things, Mazin. I got, um, I got the, uh, yeah, the, the Doom 3 BFG on the PlayStation 3, and I got Doom 3, the Collector's Edition on, uh, the original Xbox. I think, actually, I think both of those are supposed to have one and two. But there were both, there were copies of both of them floating around, out, out, floating around out there for pretty cheap, so I snagged them both. Hey, Title, welcome in. You, you heard correct, there's nothing but Jump King tonight. We're two hours in, we're gonna play four more hours of Jump King. Are hey, you gonna play Doom 3 on the stream? Um, so, maybe, someday, my Hyrule. Don't, uh... Don't cancel any of your other plans. Christian Cool, welcome in. Thank you for the lurk.
but I have been thinking we played some uh we we played a we played a chunk of Doom 64 in the past on the stream and I actually didn't finish it. But I've had a lot of doom on my mind lately. I've been I was lurking in Mazin's stream while he played uh Doom 1 and 2. And I saw just enough I saw just enough Doom 1 to think I could have a lot of fun I could have a lot of fun driving myself out of my mind trying to 100% it. So I wanted to make sure I picked up a, a physical copy. Because I think I have them, I was saying, I think I have them digitally on the Switch. But I don't, I don't feel the same pressure to, to work on digital games that I feel when I have something physical staring at me. And also, I like the idea of playing them on something I can hook up to my CRT. <laughs> Echo already took you to hell. Doom ought to be easy, Buddha Finger says. Uh. Doom 1 is great fun, Mazin says. Never knew what I was missing out on all these years. Terrible. Terrible. There are plenty of places where you can fall in that tower up there and you can land on a ledge and not have to come all the way back down here. And yet, I don't fall in one of those places. I fall in one of the few that sends you all the way back down to the cats. Oh, and I mess up the last jump. Oh.
Peak Doom was when it was brand new. It was one of the best looking video games at the time, and parents around the world hated it, Buddha Finger says. What a time to be alive. I don't even think Doom was something I knew about, like, because I didn't know anything about computer games for the longest time. Wow. Wow, another awful place to fall. Oh. Uh. It's totally different from what I expected. I always thought it was a brutal and brainless game, but it's really more of a thoughtful puzzle crawler. <laughs> Uh, a thoughtful puzzle crawler for casuals with a gun in hand. Erase again. The quality of Doom is stunning for what it is. It's been a long time since I played anything of this caliber. Jump King.
For me, it's very rare that the mainstream opinion aligns with my personal one on a game, Mazin says. That was a surprise. That was a technical marvel, Buddha Finger says. <laughs> Usually the rumors are the opposite of my views. You're a very, you're seemingly very hard to please, Mazin. <laughs> Uh, pleased me a lot. <laughs> give me, just give me a jank game, and I'm happy. Shadow says, "Yeah, my, uh, I don't know, my." Uh, my gaming opinions are sort of hit and miss on where they line up with a uh, popular opinion. There are definitely like games on like my all-time favorites list that are super hated. But I mean other things like you know, Castlevania, Contra, like they're like super well loved on uh, a lot of people's sort of like greatest hits list so it's kind of kind of a mix I mean no one loves Castlevania 64 hardly but there are a few there are a few of us wise enough to appreciate its majesty and then there's some awful game like a Bubsy 3D Bubsy 3D is a terrible game but I really loved playing it. It was a fantastic, it was a fantastic playthrough. I can't, I, there's no way I can hate a game that brought me so much joy. Motorcycle skeleton enthusiasts, the raddest of enemies. I really like that first Wipeout game, too. When we played all those Wipeout games, Wipeout 1, I'm a big fan of.
the Doom is famous for one running on every electronic device, every fridge and calculator. <laughs> I'd rather play the dice game than Bubsy 3D Shadow says. No. No. What is this madness? I've voluntarily challenged myself to extra collectibles in Bubsy 3D. It was such a good time. I went back and did all the bosses damageless just for fun. Drop elimination has gotten a hold on Shadow. <laughs> Should I waste some effort making some sort of review after I played all three Doom games, as an ass? Well, Mazin, you'd have to decide. I think uh, you'd have to decide. If it would be fun for you to spend the time making them.
chat fails to send messages. Put a lot of uh, I put a lot of uh, highlights videos out there on uh, you know I archive all of the stream on YouTube and I trim up a bunch of uh, I trim up videos for every game that we beat and they're very like you know the highlights videos are very low effort they're just uh, there's there's next to no like real editing it's just uh, it's just trimming for the most part. Um, And it's uh, it's rather tedious, and you know, there's not a there's not a great deal of people that are particularly interested in them. But I like making them anyway because I like to have the uh, I like the uh, the play the the victory reel playlist is like my it's like my wall of trophies. So you know, even if I'm just even if I'm just cutting them and publishing them for me. That's fine because that like that playlist is is just a personal collection of, of trophies that I can look at essentially and uh, think about some of the uh, the good times we've uh, suffered through. <laughs> uh. This to be fun to wake make otherwise it's uh rather not worth the effort yeah it's either got to be something you have fun spending the time making or you know something something you'll be proud of or glad you did either way <laughs> even if it is uh, tedious to make that jump. I did miss this one. Yuck. Oh. I need to get better at that jump. Oh. Oh. Project is meant for the subspecial. Anyway, most ambitious sublet sign content ever. That's a lot of it's a lot of hours to pull it to pour into a, a you know a side project. Already at sixty.
Probably end up around 100 hours total. I should have been 66 to fit the theme. <laughs> Uh, I expected more people to watch a game series this famous, but my prediction is way off. Yeah, I'm never, uh, I'm never, I'm never much good to myself at knowing like how many people are going to show up for any particular thing that we play on the stream. Usually, uh, I'm frequently very surprised. <laughs> No, ah, I was about to say, if I had to fall back down here, I landed in the best spot I could have possibly done, and then I jumped, and then I missed the next jump and made it worse. <laughs> You're just that good, Frowny. Hey, thank you, Kazori Gama.
I could, uh, you know, I... We all use a, uh, we all use a bit of propping up, right? But, uh, especially when, uh, <laughs> especially when a game like this is raining down, like, an endless series of, like, hammers to my ego. <laughs> uh... Not that I can feel that bad, because like I've said before, <laughs> I actually have I actually have very little pride wrapped up in Jump King anymore. Because like you know when you when you fail when you fail so many times <laughs> when you fail so many jumps, you just you 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 there's only so much sting you can feel. <laughs> uh. You know, really the only way, really the only way the game could, could, uh, the only, the only, like, new humiliation the game could perform against me would be to make me give up entirely, and that's the one thing it absolutely can't do, so. In a way, I've already won, right? Because the, the, the only thing left, the only, the only means it has of defeating me is the one thing that I, I know it can never get. Now, I may very well die before I beat this game, but I will never stop trying. <laughs> <laughs> Don't speak too loud. <laughs> uh, we don't let the game win, Shadow says, precisely. go insane in the process, but it won't win. We're doing alright. You know, it's a slow, painful journey, but we found, we found, we, we already hit a new PB tonight, so I, I mean, if I waste the next three hours doing nothing, it doesn't matter. Tonight's already a victory. I hit a I hit a new height. It can't take that away from me. It's already happened. You know, it can it can take my height away from me, but it can't take the achievement away. But I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we can make it back up. It's just you know this this game moves, uh, you know, the this game moves in cycles. We we do really well for a short burst, and then we do really bad for a long while, and then we get another burst of really good. And just just you know, wait through the cycles. Just keep keep spending the time, and eventually it'll roll around. <laughs> Doom Doom gave me a few moments uh, that left me feeling so much pain it didn't even hurt anymore, Madison says. <laughs> so you're uh, well acquainted with the feeling.
thought I was about to develop the hiccups there for a moment. Can't wait until we get Jump King for Super Smash Brothers. Not so much because I want to play the character, but just because I'm really excited for the amiibo that they'll release in uh, conjunction with the announcement. It's sure to happen any day now. No! Ah! Why? I'd have to miss every possible jump on that screen in every possible way. Uh. <laughs> I 
I want Christopher in Smash 6 to replace Richter, Mazin says. Got lucky there, I almost missed that jump. These jumps are never not terrifying. <laughs> Thank you. 
this game should come with a Surgeon General's warning. It's got to be as, at least as bad for your heart as smoking is. Believe it, Shadow says. Oh. Bogus. So bogus. shot that the waterfalls by the way just in case I mean like you can probably tell just by watching but in case you're watching and you, you you miss what's going on the waterfalls the waterfalls change the timing of your jumps they change your physics to put you into slow motion and so jumping around up here through the waterfalls feels very different from jumping in the rest of the game. And I've spent a, quite a bit of time up here, so I've gotten used to the timing of a bunch of these jumps, but... Some of them are still really hard to predict, particularly up here where you pass through multiple waterfalls. Uh, I don't know. Overshot again. Why? You have to, that one there that I keep overshooting, you have to do the bare minimal jump. And it should be so easy. It's just a tap of the button, but I don't know, somehow I'm still holding it for too long. I was wondering that myself, Shadow says. Yeah, the, the waterfalls make things very weird. There are other regions of the game where you will be submerged in water for long stretches of time and have to deal with the particularly slowed physics 
but the waterfall area is the only place where you move in and out of water over and over again. Like the other the other parts that contain water, you're in the water consistently for a long stretch and then once you're out, you're out. But the the waterfalls are, you know, different. And it makes a big deal. It makes a really big difference whether you whether your jump begins in the water and moves or begins out of the water and moves into it or whether it begins in the water and moves out of it it's there it's dramatically different so that's why like i try to start as many of my jumps as humanly possible not touching any water but there's uh there's a few places where you have to do it the reverse Can I reward myself from some sleep? Maslin says. Oh, I completely understand, my friend. I appreciate you stopping by. Always, uh, always good to have you come join us for a while. But uh, no, I, uh, I definitely understand that you're, you got to be pretty exhausted. So by all means, get some, uh, get some sleep and get well rested. You've got a lot more demons to fight. I'm sure you'll need your strength, my friend, and good luck. Oh. Hey, thank you, Mazin. That's uh, that's very kind of you. I always like uh, I always like dropping in when I can. It's a uh, it's a pleasure to catch you live and have you up in the background. You've been some very good company for me, my friend. I knew I was overshooting that. Oh, we're in danger. We're in big danger. I failed. I have failed us, my friends. Tonight will no longer be about making progress, but it'll be about recovering from this disaster. This huge disaster. <laughs> it looked like I was gonna avoid it there for a moment. It looked like I was going to avoid the disaster for a moment. I almost immediately recovered, but oh. instead. Life has to continue to be ceaselessly cruel. Oh, 
I disagree. Please. Twice in a row. Actually, we actually recovered out of that pretty quickly. That pink guy there is like super out of his mind. There's something about his character design that's actually really familiar to me. Like, I feel like I've seen him in another game, but I, I've never been able to place it. I've never been able to figure out what it is he reminds me of. He's probably been playing too much Jump King. <laughs> yeah, I think that's uh, I think that tends to be the problem with pretty much everyone we meet. They all they all seem to be showing signs of having played too much Jump King, because they're all either uh, they're all either completely out of touch with reality or they're just consumed by by. Uh, a relentless negativity. <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, yeah, we fell below Buddha Fingers. The, the stream is no longer about progress. And now it's about damage control. Uh... almost saved it I when we fell down when we fell down here I almost I almost recovered right away but only almost uh whoa Ugh. hurts a lot it hurts a lot uh I disagree. There are there are times where it just does not feel like the game gives me the correct amount of power for my jump. I know what some of these jumps feel like. Oh no. That was a that was a mistake. All my mistake. <laughs> what must the devs feel like bringing so much misery to so many people? <laughs> uh, that's a good question because like when you do win, when you do win, you feel a great amount of joy and so it's like How do you how do you weigh the scales for like because so few people that start this game are actually going to finish it so the, the overwhelming the overwhelming majority are going to never feel that joy they're going to feel just the misery but like a very small percentage of people will feel a really a really uh, special joy so there is that to consider as well. Bog champ. Just barely. We just we just dipped a toe in the bog so far. There's still time. There's still time to fall all the way down there. All the way down to the bottom of the bog.
That jump is so horrible. <laughs> that jump is so horrible. I have losses. We've been up there several times tonight. It looks like, uh, it looks like Doom up there. It's got these weird quicksand platforms. That's the highest I've been, is a couple, a couple screens into that area. I think I've made it up there three times tonight. At least twice. I didn't last, I didn't last long very up there. Uh, I didn't last very long. I think I've been up there twice tonight. I didn't last very long the second time though. I pretty much immediately uh, face planted in the quicksand, which, uh, you know, is game over. Yeah. This whole region here, this area is highly stressful for me. I feel, I think I feel more anxiety and bug stock than I do anywhere else on this map. Cool, back down to the bog. Not even because of a missed jump, just because I walked off of the platform. Another quick exit, though. This uh, snake ring is a lifesaver. That snake ring is a miracle. I'm so I'm so happy that I not only collected the snake ring but figured out what it does. Uh. Which is worse, this or New Babe Plus? Oh, this, well, considering I haven't beaten this, I have to call this worse. The snake ring allows you to move through um, deep environments like snow drifts or the sand of the bog. Um, usually in the environments where the floor is deep like that, like, you know, like if you're up to your chin in a snowdrift, usually you can't walk to reposition yourself. You would have to use hops to, to do it. But when you equip the snake ring, it lets you walk in areas you normally can't, um, at the cost of turning all of the, of turning all of the... Uh, platforms into ice physics so there is a there is a give and take to it when I first got the snake ring um, to get the snake ring you have to go on a little quest 
where you basically throw away a ton of progress. And, uh... So to get the snake ring, you have to you have to pay a penalty and work for it. And when I first got it, I uh, you know I didn't know the game doesn't tell you what it does, and uh, I didn't have any like like deep platforms to walk through for a while. So I equipped it and noticed it turned all the world into ice physics, and immediately assumed it had no practical use and that it was just a troll item that the game had sent me on a had sent me on a quest to go out of my way to get it and then when I get it it's useless I thought I thought for the longest time that it was just a uh, again it was, I just thought it was just a joke at my expense <laughs> that they uh, they send you out of your they send you so far out of your way and then it's something that just makes the game worse <laughs> But now it actually has a practical use. Um, and a good one. To, uh, to, yeah, to give you some more freedom of movement where you normally don't have it. Hey, Buffalo. Welcome in. Hope you're well. I'm alright. I'm, uh, I'm struggling right now. But I have been making, I've been making some progress in this game. I've hit I, I've hit a new PB two nights in a row with this one in a new area that I'd previously never seen. I'm way below it now, suffering with all my progress thrown in the trash can at the moment, but I have reason to be optimistic yet. Yeah, thank you for the GG. I know we'll get back. I know we'll get back up there. This is only a temporary setback. All setbacks are only temporary. We will we will eventually pre prevail. Snake ring, by the way, is the only item that I have that has a noticeable effect that is useful. Um, the two crowns, the scholar's hat, the shoes, the yellow shoes, the tunic. They're all equipable, but they don't have a... They're just aesthetic, so far as I can tell. Um, the giant boots do have an effect. They, uh, they make you unable to walk. If they have an upside, I have not discovered it. The gold ring, um, I don't remember what you do with this. Give it to someone. And the bug's note, I don't know what that's about either. I think it's pretty clear who won. He 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 he. Smell you later. I don't really know what it means. <laughs> I don't really know what the purpose of it is. But, you know. It's alright. I'm alright with some of these mysteries being unsolved. If you play this on the PlayStation 4... Um, I think there's an achievement for, for playing the whole game with the giant boots equipped. So, uh, they, they do exist. If they have no practical purpose, they at least have a purpose in, uh, giving you a little challenge to complete. So there's that.
Fortunately, I don't own a PlayStation 4, so uh, I don't have to worry about doing any of the achievements. If I did, if I did have a PS4, I would feel obligated to do the achievements. Uh, but uh, I have, I have dodged, I have dodged a bullet. I have dodged a bullet in that regard by playing the Switch version. <laughs> You don't feel obligated anyway? MV game? Hmm? You <laughs> pretend it's the PlayStation 4 version and do it anyway. Uh... Well, I tell you what, if someone really wants to see me do all of the achievements for this game you just have to, all you have to do is donate a PlayStation 4 to the stream and I will do those achievements also if you do that you're banned <laughs> Oh, it's one of the emotes. Oh, the achieve the achievement set for this for this is uh is horrific. It's it's like you have to it it's you beating the different quests in like these like really narrow time limits or with little to no falls. By the way, this uh, this is now my longest Jump King playthrough. <laughs> we passed, we passed. Uh, we're at, we're at almost, we're at 93 hours now. That makes this the longest one. I beat, I beat New Babe Plus at 92 and a half hours. So. Uh... So yeah, now, uh, now this is my longest playthrough. <laughs> I knew it would be, but it's official. <laughs>
Do you know what your longest playthrough of any on-stream game is? Um, I don't know the exact count. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom, though, is a hundred and or, sorry, two hundred and seventy something hours. That's the uh, that's the longest like single playthrough. Is uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, Dark Souls One is the second longest at like a hundred and ninety-five hours. Something something like that. Battletoads. Uh, Battletoads on the NES took me 95 hours to beat for the first time. So that one's pretty brutal. Um... That's dedication. I thought Austin Powers was like 600 hours. Austin Powers, I think, was 38 hours for uh, for Doctor Evil can evil. That's the that's the one we're talking about. That, I think that was 38 hours. I'd like to beat Battletoads, but then also, I think it take me longer than 95 hours to beat it, too. That's a lot of time to invest. Well, so, part of the reason it took me so long to beat it, well, there are a couple of reasons. Uh, one, I, I didn't use any warps. Um, I never actually found any warps. I know warps exist in the game, but I don't know where they are, and I never found any. Um... I wouldn't have used them even if I had. I would have reset if I'd, if I'd like stumbled into one or something. But I didn't do that, and I, you know, I wasn't using any like save states or anything. So every time I game over, I'd have to redo the game from the beginning. And then I was, uh, I am uniquely terrible at the Klinger Winger, one of the late stages in the game. I. Uh, I am worse at it than anyone else in the on the planet. So, like, my playthrough ended up being so long because I'd make it to this one level an hour into the game and immediately bleed away all my lives and have to restart again. So I was constantly, like, I was constantly grinding hour-long playthroughs just for a 30-second attempt at a level I'm terrible at. So, uh, you know, your mileage may vary. I don't think 95 hours is pretty typical. After I'd struggled with that stage for, uh... After I'd struggled with the Klinger Winger for about 40 hours, I finally let one of the, one of the, uh, chat members, uh give me a, a a tip for how to make it easier and then i i read their tip and i said well that seems too much like cheating so i'm not gonna do that <laughs> and then i just struggled again for the next 30 or so hours on my own beating it without the tip <laughs> uh <laughs> yeah, the baseline for giving Frowny a tip is 40 hours at the minimum. It's not usually that long, um, but it, I do have to be I do have to be stuck for several hours before I'm open to hearing advice or, or, or tips or hints.
it's not that it never happens it definitely does like there's a handful of times every year where i'll let the chat tell me something i just uh, i have to suffer for a long while first i gotta earn it oh yuck Yeah, Evil Can Evil felt like 600 hours. It sure did. It didn't feel it didn't feel like a minute less than 600 hours, that's for sure. <clears throat> I really only know the times for first playthroughs though. Like there are a lot of other games like uh, Contra and Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Like, we've played those games on stream for tons and tons of hours um, just because I like doing replays or I've grinded, like, challenge runs of them. But, like, you know, like, each playthrough is really, really short, but then there's been so many that they're, like, they're into the double digits of total stream time. Hey, welcome in, Raiders. Key, thank you for the raid. Always a pleasure to have you here. Welcome to Jump King. The never-ending nightmare that is Jump King. Uh, welcome in Swap and Arachna. I don't have my computer close enough to me. I'm having trouble reading people's names. Uh, Congrats on getting on a stream team. Oh yeah, we're part of uh yeah, we're part of the Jankers. Uh Janked Jesus's uh stream team. It's a collection of uh it's a collection of cool people who like playing trash games. <laughs> I'm very uh, I'm very honored, very honored to be included among their ranks. I hope you had a good night a uh, good night on stream tonight, Key, and love to hear what you were working on and how it treated you if you got time to spend a moment with us. If you uh if you've worn yourself thin with a long stream and you uh you know need to uh, rest and take care of yourself by all means, I definitely understand. I wonder if you were playing Genshin Impact if I got the uh shout out link right. You were doing a lot of fighting hopefully uh, hopefully achieved a lot of victories in the uh, process this is a uh, this is jump king for anyone who might not be familiar with this game this is a uh, it's a uh, well you've just seen the basic idea it's a brutal, it's a rage game. It's a brutal troll game. It's a, it's devastatingly simple in its concept. There is only jump. You have, you have one action to perform the entire game, and which is jump. And I love platformers, so uh, naturally I gravitated toward it. But uh, every, every missed jump is severely punished in this game and uh, we're actually pretty far along I've beaten the game a few times um, it has multiple quests through different maps so I've done the first two maps I actually did one of them twice but I beat the first two maps and this is the third and final map and I've been working on it for 93 hours <laughs> I uh I may be uniquely terrible at Jump King. But uh I really like it. It's a fantastic game. The the concept is great. The artwork is great. I love the atmosphere. Um the like sorta 
8-bit look to it, and the, the, the sort of dark fantasy stylings. All very good. I like the lonely, oppressive atmosphere of the game. And some areas, there are some parts of the game that are just stunningly beautiful. It's not all, it's not all dirt and grime and misery. Just mostly. <laughs> there are some places that are really beautiful. Um, but I do, I do really love this game. I've had, I've had ups and downs with it. I've had long periods, especially on my first playthrough before I'd, before I'd beaten it at all. I had long stretches of hopelessness and despair, <laughs> but, uh, getting a, earning a couple victories has really solidified my, my positive feelings toward the game. And so we continue striving, we continue plugging away, and eventually I will beat this quest and, uh, the whole game will be complete. I'll have, I'll have become the Jump King. That is my, that is my ambition in life. He says, I'm trying to win some cool aesthetic things in the game. I actually had to start over on some stuff. It's very annoying, but at least I won one time before, so I'm proud. GG key. I, uh, I know all about restarting. <laughs> Uh, I'd lose my sanity here, Swap says. <laughs> You're not alone. S sanity waved goodbye to me a long time ago. So, I played this game... Like I said, I've beaten this game a few times. The first time I beat it, it took me 92 and a half hours to clear the first map. <laughs> Which was actually the second map. I got confused on my first playthrough and I completed one of the DLCs before I completed the main story. That's part of why it took so long was I was doing I was doing a harder part of the game first. And uh, also I just I played it very infrequently and I'm not good at it. so there was a, there were a lot of factors making the playthrough last so long. <laughs> So my first playthrough is 93 and a half hours. My second playthrough was four and a half hours. After I cleared the DLC, I went back and did the main game and I did it much more quickly. <laughs> because uh, one, I'd had a bit of practice and two, you actually have to clear a good chunk of the main quest in order to complete uh, DLC one. So I was already familiar with a good portion of the of that map. So a couple things worked in my favor. And then I got confused again trying to do DLC 2 and accidentally ended up completing DLC 1 a second time. And that playthrough took two and a half hours. So I was really speeding up. And then now I'm finally on... I've finally been on this one. I've been on this one now for 93 hours, so this is my longest playthrough. <laughs> and I play these blind. I don't look ahead or try to find anything out. I'm very, very strictly anti-spoiler, so I don't even know how far along I, I've, I am. <laughs> but, uh... It's got to end some. It's got to end at some point. <laughs> it can't go on forever. It's not procedurally generated. Although there were times, there were times on the first playthrough where I suspected it was. Thank you for the hydrate. Thank you very much for that. Open a fresh bottle of water, too. And we'll get some Banjo Kazooie art on stream. Give me just a moment to grab that.
I love uh, I love Banjo Kazooie. Fantastic! What a fantastic game. Very near to my heart that one. I don't think you're sane after hearing that. <laughs> uh, 61. Yeah, there's a, there's a few of them. There's a few of them not even on that list yet. I've got a couple newer ones. Like that Jester that we just replaced. That one's not on the list. Um, so we've... it, But it's, it's only... There's only a few. There's probably a total of about 64 currently. I just haven't had time to update it yet. Oh yeah, all those uh, all those artworks, those are all made by Jelly. Uh, Jelly is my wife, uh, for anyone who may not know. She does the uh, she does the artwork for the stream, all of our emotes, and uh, most of the other artwork that you that you'll see are uh, her work. Uh, whatever is uh, up in the uh, corner over there, other side of the screen, <laughs> the corner over there. And if we take a BRB or something, then you'll usually, it'll be a piece of her artwork. Uh, viewers have submitted a little bit of artwork. We've got a, there are a few pieces of viewer artwork, but they're, uh, they're not on the, uh, they're not on the options list there for the, uh, the redeem. Uh, the viewer artwork just shows up, uh, well, generally whenever it's submitted. <laughs> Sometimes with like, uh, if we've got like a BRB or a starting screen that's been uh, submitted, then they'll stay in the regular rotation. But the the icons generally just appear when they're relevant. All right, let's go. That uh, this is not a new area, but this is where I've been trying to get back up to since I lost a big chunk of progress earlier tonight. Uh, this is not a checkpoint, but it's kind of like one. I'm excited to see the birthday one key says <laughs> yeah that one uh i'm a i'm a february birthday so that one i that one i i tend to only use in the in the deep winter hey thank you kasari gama for the uh the jelly shout out Jelly was doing uh it's been it's been defunct for several years. Jelly was was doing a um a little YouTube project for a while, uh posting some let's plays every now and then. But uh she doesn't have uh she doesn't have the time to work on video games like I do, unfortunately. If I may say so though, there are some really fun videos there. <laughs> Her, uh, her spy versus spy video has a uh, her spy versus spy video has a moment in it that has become an inside joke in our house and we uh we we quote it at each other all the time <laughs> I feel a strong nodding feeling in my stomach if I ever played this game. Oh yeah, I was I was saying earlier tonight. Um, I was saying this game needs to come with a Surgeon General's warning because I think it's worse for your heart than smoking. <laughs> there are there are parts of this game that fill where some of these jumps fill me with such anxiety. 
I am, I am amazed that my body can withstand it. I'll try to remember. Key says, uh, about my when my birthday is. <laughs> jelly the person is the only jelly I like. I don't like the food. Jelly the person is the only jelly that matters, Key says. So Jelly's not actually even named after the food. Um, Jelly's uh, Jelly's name is Jelly as in Jellyfish. The, uh, the, she's actually named herself after the animal. But uh, most people think of the... Uh, most people seem to think of the food. I like Jelly Beans. I used to think jelly beans were a real treat, but I've spent a bit too much time eating those gross uh, Harry Potter beans <laughs> and the bean boozled thing, bean boozled beans. Uh, and now, uh, now jelly beans set off my flight or f my my fight or flight response. <laughs> Yeah, Jelly's Jelly's screen name, uh, Lucent Jelly, is a, uh, it's a, it's it's Jelly as in jellyfish. I don't like jelly beans, but jellyfishes are cool though. I don't know those ones. I eat mostly sour and starburst jelly beans. I've had uh, I've had both of those varieties. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly with a baseball bat. That's a uh, that's a blast from the past. jelly beans <laughs> yeah those uh those bean boozled those bean boozled beans like i got some real treasures rotten fish and dog food and booger and vomit and soap I remember dial up because sorry, Kama says. <sighs> I wanna do like I wanna do like an impression of like the dial up modem noise, but my throat is already kinda hurting tonight. It would come out very well. <clears throat> wow, I never, I, I never jump down that particular path. What is going on? I'm missing a bunch of these. <laughs> Eating those liver and onion jelly beans will kill your appetite. Will kill your appetite for them quick. Buffalo says. <laughs> uh... 
I gonna lurk from my phone as I fall asleep? It's almost 4 a.m. What have I done? Hey, thank you, Key. Thank you again for the raid. Very much appreciated. I hope that you sleep well and have a fantastic tomorrow. It's uh, it's going on 3 a.m. for me. We're probably going to go for two more hours. It's the jelly beans debuff. Oh yeah, the stink bug bean. Yeah. Yep, I can taste that one on my in my in my on my mind's tongue as well. And we did, we did Buddha fingers. I just I just clawed my way back up here. So uh Provided I don't immediately fall back down to the bog, <laughs> like we've got a we've got a couple more hours. There's still a there's still a chance at a further PB. No, ah, I made it and then I walked off. There's no there's no mid-air control. You uh you can aim left or right or straight up and then your jump is in a fixed arc that's only affected by how long you hold the jump button to to charge. Right? You hold the charge and release the jump. And at, at maximum charge, it'll jump automatically. So you can't you can't just hold forever. Um, but you can't. There's there's no there's no effect on your mid air control. But even though that's the case, if I feel like I'm gonna overshoot something, I will I will press the D pad. I'll pull back on the D pad. Like instinctually, <laughs> even though I know it's if there's no effect, I'll pull back instinctually, and sometimes that has the effect of when I land, I accidentally walk off the ledge I landed on <laughs> because I'm still holding the D-pad. So when you when you see me walk off a ledge for no reason, that's usually why. Is because I was holding against the jump because I felt like I was going to go over. Uh, I wish it didn't happen as frequently as it does. Yeah, once you're in the air, you can't actually do anything.
there are places where you do want to hold against your jump. Um, if you're in an area with ice physics, you do want to hold against your jump because when you land, the ice will cause you to slip forward with momentum and you want to pull back against that because usually the icy platforms are really thin and if you don't if you don't pull they're really narrow rather if you don't pull against them you'll slide off the far edge so there are parts of the game that like work to ingrain that behavior in you even if it wasn't part of your natural instinct Uh, what's your favorite platformer? Oh, um, well, my favorite video game of all time is a platformer, and that would be Super Ghouls and Ghosts on the Super Nintendo, so that would probably be my answer. Um, but there are a lot of platformers that I love. Um, I really like, I like brutally challenging ones. Um, so, like, like I love Castlevania, I love Contra. Um, I like some less, like, I like some less deadly ones too, right? Like, I'm a big fan of the Mario games. Those are, uh, those are a, a little less, those are a little more reasonable on the challenge scale. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's a lot of platformers I love. I love Donkey Kong Country, um. That one's really good. Really enjoyed Cuphead. That has platforming. You might not. That one, like, I would, I would say it is a platformer, though. It's, uh, it's very boss heavy. The platforming stages are are fewer than uh, most uh, most platformers. I like the Mega Man games, uh, though I'm kind of inexperienced with them. Um, I have enjoyed I have I've enjoyed the ones I've played, though I don't I don't know the series super well. Hey Salem, welcome in. Love the jiggy in today's drawing. So cute. That was, uh, we just, uh, switched that artwork. Like, uh, the overwhelming majority of them. That's, uh, a piece drawn for us by my wife. <laughs> she clearly likes Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, as, well, she's actually never played one of the Banjo games. Jelly, Jelly doesn't do three-dimensional games. She'll watch me play them. But uh, she really only likes uh, she really only likes 2D games. She's never uh, she's never wrapped her she's never wrapped her mind around the third dimension. I don't play many platformers myself. Uh, only when I was a kid. I don't recall them that well. Only somewhat platformer experience is Path of Pain and Hollow Knight. It was indeed a pain to me. I played through Hollow Knight. I actually didn't do the Path of Pain. I found it. I found it. I found where it is in the map, and then I was like, "Oh, that sounds exciting. We'll come back to we'll come back to that." And then I. And then when I went to when I wanted to go back and do that, I couldn't I couldn't find it again. <laughs> so I never I never actually finished the Path of Pain. I need to go uh, I need to go back and do that some night.
Man, oh man. Oh no, oh no, maybe it, maybe that's it. Maybe I got blocked out of it. It was a three-day experience for me. Couldn't shut the PC down because there's no save point. <laughs> Brutal. This game I would not even start. <laughs> this game's pretty tough. It's pretty tough. But it's you know, when you when you do succeed, it's very rewarding. But it's uh it's definitely not for everyone. There's a lot of uh it's a very stressful game to play, so uh unless you uh unless you really want to subject yourself to a very high frustration experience for a very long time. <laughs> it's definitely not for everyone. The cats are very cute and good moral support, though. I'm a big fan of cats. So I, um, I'm very comfortable in this environment here. We have, uh, we have, uh, we actually have three cats currently. I've had a lot of cats throughout my life. Had a lot of different cats. I currently have three. I have a solid black male cat named, well, we call him Beans. On paper, his name is Inky. We, we named him Inky when we first got him, but we never call him that. <laughs> the, we call him Beans. Um, we have a, a tan uh, male named Khaki, who we sometimes call Mr. Pants, but uh, his name is definitely, his name is Khaki. We call him both. And uh, we have a gray tabby female named Twiggy. And Twiggy, we just call Twiggy. She doesn't. She doesn't have any nicknames. Oh, we got three cats. I also have a dog too. I'm definitely. I'm more of. I'm more of a cat person. Jelly's more of a dog person. But uh, you know, we kind of. There's overlap there. We have a. Uh, what is he? He's a border collie. I had to think for a moment because when we got him, we thought he was an Australian Shepherd, but I, uh, but he's a he's a border collie named Arthur, and he's a very good doggo. He's a very uh, he's a little bit hyperactive. He's a little bit he's a little bit more hyperactive than I wish he was sometimes, but he's very gentle. He's very well behaved, very, very kind, very, very, uh, very obedient, not very calm, but very obedient and, uh, a very, uh, very kind dog. No, uh, no real aggression or anything. <laughs> Jelly and beans. <laughs>
<laughs> you did it. You got out. Well, don't celebrate too much. No progress in this game is permanent. <laughs> no, progress is never permanent in this one. Oh, you could you could lose you could lose massive chunks of altitude. We we've been here lots of times. I have n no exaggeration. I've climbed this entire tower here probably 70 or 80 times at least. I've I've climbed this tower a lot. No. That's the worst fall you can make cuz that puts me in danger of falling below the cat the the cats. Uh, which I just did for the second time tonight too. Oh, that's horrible. So that's what this game is like. No! I've never missed that jump. I have never missed that jump. We were about to have we were about to have the swiftest recovery ever, and then I blundered and the last jump. Which I have literally never missed before. Oh. Misery. Absolute, absolute misery. How? That's not even possible. Uh, I will take my leave. <laughs> uh, I hope this second hour won't turn into 20 hours. Oh, we'll, uh, no, we'll, it'll definitely be a long time before I finish this one. But uh, I hope you have a great rest of your night. It's been nice talking to you. And uh, thank you for the follow. Very much appreciated. Oh, Jump King all night is a huge mistake. <laughs> oh, six hours of Jump King is a huge mistake. Making me scared to play this Chozo says. Uh, give it a try, Chozo. You cannot possibly be as bad at this game as I am. Uh, who could? Who could be? Who could be worse at this than me? It can't be possible. <laughs> you love it, though. I kind of do. I kind of do. I don't love being down here. I don't love being down here. Being down here puts me in a bad mood. Probably gonna give it a go in a few hours? Oh, nice.
Very exciting. Can't go wrong with Jump King, Shadow says. Very scared, Chozo says. Just, uh, just don't... Just don't, uh, just don't do the DLC before the main game. By the way, if anyone's wondering, wondering, this is bedrock. This is as far as you can fall in the game. We're literally at the bottom of the map now. 100% of my progress is now lost. <laughs> this is why I'm scared. <laughs> Yeah, but the thing is, like, it steals all your progress, but it can't steal your wisdom. Once you once you know how to make it up to a certain point, you can always get back. You just have to, uh, you know. You just have to put in the time. You just have to put in the time. <laughs> Why do we fall? Why do, why, why do we fall, Bruce? I wanted to think of a clever, snarky joke answer, but nothing came to me. To learn to pick ourselves up again. Christopher Nolan, Batman is the best, Kasari Goma says. I, uh, I'm, a, I'm a pretty big fan of those films. <laughs> we fall for love, Shadow says. No. I watched too many movies. Let's see if Frowny gets this one. Uh, you, you might, uh, you, you're gonna stump me pretty easily if you pull movie quotes. Ideas are peaceful, history is violent. Yeah, that's one I don't know. I 
ideas are peaceful, history is violent. I think someone has quoted that in the chat before, but I don't even remember from, from the chat where that's from. Brad Pitt, Fury? Yeah, never seen it. Yeah, it was me who said it before. I don't, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. I can only imagine how high this map is, Shadow says. Uh, the thing is, like, it doesn't even have to be all that high. Look at, because look at how long it's taken me. But just as I've already, I would have, I would have felt like I got my money's worth. That it was just three screens high. <laughs> it takes me so long to make progress. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't... Mess that up.
Oh, really? That was new. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Yeah, highest high and lowest low all in one night. Sadly, that's not even really that all that unusual <laughs> to to hit a new PB and to hit bedrock at the same night. Isn't it actually isn't a rare occurrence? <laughs> I wish it was. Oh, I've gone through I've gone through this entire map so many times. Uh. I feel like I feel like if every copy of this game were erased from the planet, I've been through this map so many times I could I feel like I could recreate it pixel for pixel just from memory. <laughs> It's burned. It's burned in there to my mind. Oh, I didn't, uh, I didn't pick up, I don't know if Chozo intends to, uh, stream Jump King, but, uh, Chozo does stream, so, uh, just in case that's gonna be the case, my friends, go ahead and give him a follow.
I almost missed that jump again. Uh, that I thought for sure I, that I was going to miss that because I oh, oh I did not do that right. I got lucky. The game had mercy on me. All right, come on, to the top. Let's make it to the top. Yeah. This game has mercy. Uh, it is sometimes. Sometimes there's like the illusion of mercy. Yeah, yeah. It, the 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 apparent mercy is just masking uh, some some new horror. So the plan for this week, schedule uh, schedule wise, and we're not wrapping up now. I'm just talking about it because it's on my mind. Um, but we'll probably do a couple hours of Jump King tomorrow night at the start of the stream, and then it's Punch Out for the rest. Wednesday and Friday will be all Dark Souls two. Thursday will probably be Jump King and either the Wizard of Oz or. Adam's family. I'm leaning more toward the Wizard of Oz for Thursday right now, but yeah, it's probably what it will be. I mean, if I were to beat Jump King in the next 20 minutes, we could do an hour of the Wizard of Oz tonight. Don't really think that's gonna happen, though. Uh... Hey, Game and Fit, welcome in. Well, 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 I hope you're doing well, 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 my friend. Follow the yellow brick road, Frowny. Yeah, I'm gonna follow it right to a dice game. Because that's the thing. The thing is, next time we play Wizard of Oz, all we're going to do is play dice. With no exaggeration, every time I pick up the Wizard of Oz from now on, it's oops all dice until I beat that dice game. <laughs> and then I have to pray I get a password. Or better yet, just complete it. Couldn't stay away for too long. Needed my daily dose of frowny. And it looks like I have 20 hours of Dark Souls 2 to catch up on. Yeah, we've been at it. We've been at it for a little while. If you haven't seen any of the playthrough, am I 20 hours in? I guess I'd be close, right? I think we've done it 7... Yeah, 21 hours. That sounds about right. 7 hours 3 times. Oh yeah, first time was six hours, yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, I won't spoil too much if you want to. Uh, if you want to check out the VODs, I won't say too much. I'll just say that I've been really enjoying it. And I'm, I'm looking forward to playing it more this week. I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm surprised, but also glad. Well, I think this is vague enough I can say it. The thing is, like, so far, and maybe it's just because I haven't gotten far enough, but so far, it, to me, it just feels like more Dark Souls 1, and I love the Dark Souls 1, so why wouldn't I love Dark Souls 2? That's the way I feel so far. And maybe, you know, maybe I'll get far enough along, I'll find something horrible, and I'll be like, oh, this is why everyone hates this game. <laughs> but... So so far, I don't see anything bad about it. It's been a good time. <laughs> He's clueless. Excellent. Well, that's me. The, uh, the more clueless I am, usually the better a playthrough goes, right? Once I play Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne, I'll realize that Dark Souls 2 is subpar. And that could be right. Elden Ring, nothing else will be the same. And Scholar. Well, based on the hardware I currently have, like, my soul's trajectory is probably after Dark Souls 2 I will play Demon Souls. And then, because I don't really have any hardware to go further in the series, so probably a replay of Dark Souls 1 with a focus on trying to do the DLC. And then same thing for Dark Souls 2. I'll have to I'll have to play the Scholar of the First Sin edition. So those uh you know, those will probably happen. But not very quickly. Like we're looking at, you know. We're looking at long gaps of time in between, I'm sure. But right now I can only, with my current hardware, I can only do Dark Souls 1, 2, and Demon Souls, so those will be my focus. I would like, you know, I do hope to do all the others someday, but uh, that'll have to be when I have different hardware. Maybe they'll port some of them to the Switch 2, and I'll, uh... Play them there. <clears throat> Sorry, Gama says I find Elden Ring to be pretty mediocre as well. If you're serious about playing Souls games, PlayStation is the way to go. Uh, my favorites are Bloodborne and Dark Souls 1.
You know, if I fall into the bog a third time, I'm I'm kind of down to just rage quit. Uh, who's with me? happened right there. Uh... Oh, cool. It did happen right there. Because there's no way I don't miss this. Why? Why am I so terrible? This is not fun. I'm not making any progress. All I'm doing is playing around on the bottom of the map all night. There's no point to this. I don't need I don't need to practice the bottom of the map over and over again for my speed run. It's not doing us any good. Ugh. I will never do anything of value in this game ever again. Uh... don't have what whatever this takes I can't uh, I can't stop floundering around to the bottom of the map it's exhausting my case, when it comes to open world games, I don't even beat them before I shelve them. Uh... 
Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are the only two open world games I've ever finished. And to be fair, I like both of those quite a lot. But uh, any other open world game I've ever played, I just uh, I just tinker around in it for a while and then and then put it away without ever making any progress in the story. Oh yeah, they're not, you know, they're not perfect games, but they're a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun for what they are. How many people go back to A Link to the Past in Ocarina of Time? There has to be a trend here. I don't know if you can really compare those uh, yet, Kisari Gama. Those games are a lot older, and you have people that grew up with them that have aged to where they're nostalgic for them. Like, you gotta, you gotta wait until the people who play Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Ch Kingdom as children are nostalgic adults, and then see how what percentage go back to them. Uh, more likely to go back to a short game than a long game. Yeah. That's a big, that's a big difference between them too. It's not just so much like open world versus linear, but just how long are the games to, uh, complete.
Any game I can do in one sitting, I'll go back to again and again and again and again. But if it's uh, if it's something that's gonna take me, you know, night after night after night, I'm a lot less I'm a lot less uh, likely to go back to it. One hour left, my friends. We're on our last hour. If I'm not, uh... If I'm not consistently making stellar progress by the end of this hour, it's gonna be our last hour for the night. <laughs> or in other words, this is gonna be our last hour for the night. <laughs> oh... We started off strong, though. I, I got a new PB really quickly. The rest of the night has been a dud. I should have, uh... I should have just, uh, I shouldn't have given the whole night over to Jump King. I should have just did the two-hour thing. Because uh, all of our best, all of our, all of the best stuff happened to us in those first two hours. Anyway, the rest, uh, the rest has been just repeatedly falling to the bottom of the map and clawing my way back up to the middle. So, uh... <sighs> I was really hopeful. I was really hopeful that if I did a big, if I did a big all night. Jump King Knight that we'd come away with something like really spectacular, but I haven't really made any progress uh, beyond what we would expect on a two hour from just a two hour session. <laughs> uh, the game won't let you quit. You must play. I mean, it has the, an opportunity. If the game wants to lock me in, it's just got to. Uh, it's just got to give me the illusion of progress once more. Uh, currently, I'm disillusioned, so... My, my chains are loosened.
There's no evidence that uh, Bloodborne 2 is even going to exist, much like Half-Life 3. <laughs> comes out. Don't think a Bloodborne 2 could live up to the hype, Shadow says. Game and fit is more optimistic. I think it could. <laughs> what the world really needs, Zergling says, is Dark Souls 2 2. <laughs> Hey, Sly Hippo, welcome in. I met someone today. We both said hi. That's it, Game and Fit says.
a riveting tale. Uh, that's all that happened. Oh yeah, yeah. I've got a uh I've I've got a new PB. It's way higher than where we are now. My uh my old PB though is we're still not at my uh my older PB yet. My current PB is like five screens, like five screens above where we are now. Which makes things confusing when I say that while I'm transitioning between two screens. <laughs> uh, getting back up there is exceedingly difficult though. I've done it a couple times, but there's a few of these jumps on the way that even though I've made them a handful of times, I've missed them so many more. I'd love to be able to show you though where uh, where my current peak is, at least close to it. right away that wasn't going to make it. Nope. That was over. Uh. Thought that uh, I thought that that thread conversation thread had died. We could have just left it dead. That's a weird place to land. That's not what I was expecting. Compassionate people have passionate discussions. 
I mean, I don't, I don't think anyone's gotten out of line, but it's just weird. There was a big gap there, and I thought that was that. I'm feeling a lot of stress. I'm feeling a lot of stress right now. <laughs> drink uh, I don't drink very many bubbly drinks uh, as it is the uh, uh, kombucha is about the only bubbly thing that I uh, that I enjoy I have had a uh, I have had a a couple fizzy drinks this month like a, uh, a Dr. Pepper or a Coca-Cola, but they've uh, been very, very rare. Brownie prefers to take a swig of the boggly. <laughs> uh, no, no, I I didn't want to do the uh, I didn't want to do the stretch or the wheel tonight.
<laughs> Too much yoga means no stretch point redemption. I'm usually very much in favor of the uh, the stretch. Um, that's why you know. That's why we do such a. That's why we 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 take it so seriously and stretch for so long when it is redeemed. But I don't know. I just I didn't want to have either thing that like pulled me out of the game for a long time on the menu tonight. Like both of those are like both of those require putting the game down for a long time. Hey Angelus, welcome in. Thank you for the raid. I don't know what this uh collaborate thing means. <laughs> I don't know that I want to click on that just because I don't understand what it is, Angelus, but uh, thank you for the raid. Always uh, like to have you here with us. Hope you had a fantastic stream. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit decline just because I don't uh well actually I'm not. I'm just gonna let it expire. Just because I uh I don't like messing with features that I don't that I don't understand and that's a lot of them. <laughs> I'm not bold enough to experiment live. Uh, playing Lure of the Temptress tonight. I'm just glad it's over. Oh no, a brutal, a brutal experience. Well. It GG on the uh, GG on the victory if it's over. At least there's that. It might have been it might have been rough, but if you uh, if you come out a winner, it has to at least be a, have been worth it, you know, to a generous degree. It's not a very good game. <laughs> this is a really tough jump to make. Because I'm so scared to overshoot it. That I'm just going to undershoot it a thousand times. He was not lured. She was not tempting enough. How many made this went on to make the Broken Sword games? They did redeem themselves eventually, Angela says. I'm not really familiar with those. I will, I will have to take your uh, word.
So this environment up here, this is my PB. Now is uh, somewhere in this environment. Like, uh, well, never mind. Uh, anyway, that environment's the highest environment I've made it to. And I've been about three screens up in that in that region. It's got quicksand, which is pretty tough to deal with. Oh, cool. That's a long way down. Yeah, well, progress is so short-lived sometimes. expecting to fall that far. I finished my project. Welcome back, EpiPen. And GG. Uh, GG on the project. I have not finished my project. By which I mean this game. It's been a rough night. A lot of falls. But very well done to you.
No pressure, yeah, thank you. flat that means I'm going all the way back well we were doing all right for a while that's pretty much my PB that's uh you've pretty much seen there the best of that might be the best I've ever done I think, I think, I think, yeah, I think I actually made it a couple jumps higher than I've been before. So, like, we're doing good. I'm going to report a robbery. Hey, Conqueror Worm, welcome in. Yeah, that music is, uh, I like that music. It is intense, um, but, uh, yeah, I like that. I like it. It's, uh. That whole area is very cool. It reminds me of uh, it reminds me of Doom. just gets worse and worse come on
just got an email from a game I helped kickstart a long time ago. I finally have an official copy. Right on. Hopefully it will prove to have been uh, worth, uh, you know, supporting and waiting for. Hopefully it's going to come out all right. I've uh, never participated in a Kickstarter for any projects. Three minutes to midnight. I'll be checking it out on Sunday. Right on. I haven't heard of that one, but I hope it's good. It's a point and click adventure game. Heard about it, but that's all. This area is very tough. No, we were doing so well. That's another new PB. <laughs> and another attempt down the drain. Oh my goodness. This is intense. I just gotta believe and remember your friends. <laughs> As we sports would say, nice approach. Uh, getting more practice in, so that's good, Shadow says. Mm. 
<laughs> the Lord of the Temptress is one of the games they give you for free on GOG, Angela says, and I understand why. <sighs> practice, practice is good. Practice is good. That place is really like setting my nerves on fire. Uh,. though with those like ugh, those jumps you have to make you have to make them so quickly there's no uh, there's no downtime anymore to plan your next jump and it's uh it's really like pressing pressing my anxiety through the roof down uh, I wish it was 20 minutes later so I could just say that's it for tonight <laughs> there's no way I'm clawing my way all the way back up there there's no way it's not over now I have to sit here and spin my wheels for my wheels for 20 more minutes this is gross If only someone could claim the wheel or stretch break could burn 20 minutes up. Yeah, turning the stream into a just chatting stream for 20 minutes seems the worst way to spend my time. It's possible you could end at the waterfall or the new area. Oh no, I won't do that. See, there's the thing. If I make it, if I, on the off chance I make it back up there, I'll keep going until we lose it. You know, we can, we can go into overtime. That's a possibility. Oh, I forgot. One of the other issues with the wheel right now is two of the spots on the wheel are a dead zone. I didn't, uh, I didn't put new items on the wheel yet, and two of them are used up. That was, uh, that was another thing that was, like, when I came down here to start the stream, I forgot to do that and didn't want to mess with it. We finished up two of the sauces last time. Gonna make you eight feet taller. What? I <laughs> wanted me to see the kitty cats one more time. Yeah, if we, if we get back up to the waterfall in the next 15 minutes, we'll go into overtime until I fall down below it again. I won't, uh, I won't end at the waterfall. 
if I make it back up to the waterfall in the next 15 minutes and I don't fall below the waterfall for two hours, we'll have a jumbo sized stream. <laughs> uh. Guaranteed. <laughs> that would be about when I go to bed two hours from now. So the thing is, it would be uh, it'd be really bad for me in a way because I typically go to bed in about fifteen minutes. <laughs> so I uh, I'd be very I'd be very tired for those two hours, and it will poison tomorrow for me. But. It'd be worth it. Eight AM is sleep time. Six hours of jump king is borderline insanity. I think I'm well I think I'm well across. I think I'm well past the line. With this, with this game. The goal is to sleep by 5 a.m., but I'm often still awake at 10 a.m. And at times past 2 p.m. I mean, I've definitely been there. I've definitely been in that, in that boat before. Um, lately, I've been doing a pretty good job at, uh, because we wrap the stream up around 5 a.m. my time, typically now. I've doing, been doing a pretty good job about being asleep by 6. And then I get up around uh, 1.30 in the afternoon. And uh, when I'm able to stay on that schedule, it works out really well for me. I'd actually like to sleep a little bit longer, but I just can't seem to I just can't seem to swing it. I tend to wake up around one or one thirty and then that's it. I just can't fall back to sleep. So I'm I'm running on like seven, seven and a half hours of sleep, and I don't think that's necessarily enough. But it's all I've been able to swing lately. I blame anime and books. I'm jealous of your sleep. You can try and get through the final dungeon as Shantae tomorrow. I haven't practiced since last time I played that game, which was back in July. Uh, good luck, Angelus. Maybe it'll go real well. Sometimes, you know, sometimes when I take a break from a game, when I come back to it after a long break, for, I'm like, I'm really good at it all of a sudden. And I, uh, like for no reason, just like sometimes a break really helps. Usually on two or three hours with luck five or six, or maybe twice a week. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. That's uh, I wouldn't be able to make it on that little sleep for sure. Like you know, I'm, as I said, I'm I'm getting seven, and I don't think it's enough. At a two hour with at two hours of sleep, I'm completely non-functional.
All right, come on. We got to make it through the tower this time. Oh yeah, the uh so I'm not sure I'm not sure if those blocks can fall or not, uh Angelus in that area. Some like some of the blocks when you're standing on them. I think if you stand on them too long, they might actually fall. I haven't uh I can't say for sure though. But I think, I think I stood on one of them too long one time and it, and it did fall, but I don't, my memory's fuzzy now. It's been a long time. I'm not sure if that actually happened or I was just afraid it was going to happen. If they do fall, you have a you have a, quite a bit of time though to uh, you do have a bit of time to think about what you're doing. Now I'm a long ways off from beating Wizard of Oz. There's a there's a horrible mini game in that one that I can't seem to conquer yet. That's got me kind of stuck. So that's still that's still in the mix. We're probably gonna play that one on Thursday. It's been a while. I haven't beaten any games in a while. I'm still working all on all the same stuff I've been working on for a couple weeks.
I'm in a I'm in a victory drought at the moment. Please just don't fall off to the left. Whatever you do, just don't fall off to the left, please. I I don't recommend it. I'm not, I'm not having fun with it right now. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, this is none of those. This is, a. Uh, I'm playing this on the Switch. This is, uh, this is, a. Uh, this is not really a retro game. This is a throwback game. It's an indie game. It came out in 2021? Maybe. I don't remember exactly what year it came out. It's a few years old. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because of the retro category. No, I I, I don't blame you. I uh I feel like uh, I feel like throwback games like this are appropriate for the retro category. But I can see how it'd be confusing. Other people may disagree with me too. That's, you know, that's fine. I just, but I feel like it's, I feel like it fits. I mean, if they had a bar, it would kind of trivialize the game. I've thought about that. i thought about how helpful it would be, but I can definitely understand why it doesn't exist. I do wonder... I do wonder if the developers gave themselves a bar for uh, playtesting the game. I wonder if there. Uh, I wonder if there's a cheat code or, uh, you know, a, a beta version of the game where there's a where there's a bar to to see your jump. The definition of retro is imitative of a style, fashion, or design from the recent past. This is exactly what that is. 
Retro for games seems to mean classics, yeah. Yeah, we're at the waterfalls. I can't quit now until I fall below the waterfalls. Which may happen sooner than we expect. Stay focused. Well, I think that'll be up for tonight, my friends. We made decent progress. We got a lot of practice in. We'll play this again tomorrow night. But, uh. That's gonna be uh, that's gonna be it for us for tonight. Uh, thank you for being here with me. Very grateful to have so much good company, my friends, especially on a night that's oops all jump king. <laughs> you know what a painful night. What a painful night. But we made uh, tremendous progress. We hit a we hit a new PB. We hit the the new area several times. Had a lot of dead hours too. Got a new PB. That's a good night's work. Exactly. Yeah. Good night at jumping. Thanks for the stream. Thank you, Shadow. Good night, Game and Fit. Good night, Angelus. Thank you again for the raid. Thank you, Conqueror Worm. Uh, thank you, Arcana. Uh, thanks for having me and be safe. Thank you. Same to you. I'm going to send us over to Chozo, also playing Jump King. Um, just getting started with it. Been playing it for, f for a few minutes. So we won't see the very, very beginning, but, uh... Still, I think, a very good place to, uh... Go ahead and join. If I can just find his, uh... If I can just find his stream here. So I'm going to try to be back. <laughs> Good place to jump over to. Exactly. More Jump King. Um, I should be back tomorrow night. Going to aim to start around 10 o'clock. Uh, my time. Central time. Uh, we'll start with two hours of Jump King. And then we'll play Punch Out for the rest of the night. And uh, see how those treat us. Uh, Wednesday and Friday will be Dark Souls 2 all night long. Thursday will be Jump King and probably the Wizard of Oz. I'm not going to commit to that, but probably. Definitely Jump King. Probably Wizard of Oz Thursday. 
But Jump King and Punch Out tomorrow. So hopefully I'll see you for some of those things, my friends. Be well until I see you again. Hopefully I'll be able to enjoy your company very soon. But uh, we're done. I put in my six hours. We had many highs, many lows. We're all done for tonight. It's time to head out. Let's go on an adventure. <laughs>